Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. So I guess, for, for my, I guess my kind of word for the wise would be, find out, you know, like when you're shopping before you need something, you know, go call, call Baypath and find out and just have a conversation with them about their services. It may be that you're entitled to something right now that you don't even know about. And, and remember, don't feel guilty. These are your tax dollars at work. They're not trying to sell you anything. Uh, they are using, your, these are mostly state tax dollars that are designed specifically to help all of you, you, you and me and all those other old people that are out there. Right? Well, there's a lot, there are people who are not so old who are taking advantage of our services as well. Um, and if you have a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and you're under 60, you're eligible for um, our services. Um, but if you were going to start off with the services, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the, the process of getting the services. Um, you would, you can call us up and explain your situation. The intake and referral specialist would do sort of a very general mini assessment on the telephone. Um, and after that, you would be referred to a case manager or an intake specialist who would come out and meet with you and discuss the programs in more detail. Um, we would go, it's an in intensive process that lasts about two hours um, where we would go over a variety of typical information that you might find in a doctor's office like privacy practices. We would go over your income. We do, um, do not require um, any paperwork for your income. It's, it's all word verbal. Um, but from that we would develop a care plan with with your guidance. We would work on it together. Um, and at that point, usually, as I said, people get the initial service package of about three hours a week of services. Um, if people have critical needs that require more services, there are other avenues for more services to come into your home. Um, and that generally requires an assessment by a Bay Path nurse to determine whether you are clinically eligible to live in a nursing home. It doesn't mean that you're going to, going to go into a nursing home. It just means that you're clinically eligible. And that can, um, from there, depending on your income, we may steer you towards what's called our Enhanced Community Options Program, which would allow us to provide you with a service package of about $740 a month or about seven hours a week of services, which can really be a, a tremendous um, break for the caregiver. Um, because and for for the individual involved because they can get a shower you know four days a week instead of two days a week um, <clears throat> and for people whose needs are more critical and whose incomes are low enough to qualify for mass health standard we can steer them towards the frail elder waiver program um, which enables you to qualify for what's called I know this is a lot of information but it enables you to qualify for the community choices program which is a much more expansive program than either of the other programs. And it can really, it can provide you with everything pretty much short of around the clock care. And by the way, we're going to be talking about each of those programs. This is an introductory presentation. As we talk about people with early, kind of early stage dementia symptoms and later stage dementia symptoms. And the, kind of the moral of the story though is that the, the, the state and the federal government are very interested in all of those programs that can keep you home. It, se it seems like from a distance the, the, all of these folks really want to push you into a nursing home. That is the last thing that any of them want to do. They really want to keep folks at home. Right. Um, so um, that's pretty much it from my perspective. Um, and Tai Chi is coming. That's good. Tai Chi is coming in the fall. Um, and we do have a, a new a website for it's Metro West Caregiving, I think dot, yeah. dot com. Metrowestcaregiving.org. Dot org. Dot org, which is great. It's got all kinds of resources on it. And um, is that up and running yet? It's up and running it's very up and soon. Running. Yeah. And it's really terrific because it's designed. It re they they really appreciate the fact that the goal of the exercise is to stay at home. 
which means the goal of the exercise is to have a whole bunch of people and caregivers talking to each other, right? And really kind of communicating with each other and knowing what this vast array of services is, and that's the point of the website. So right. literally, if you're clicking, you're clicking, you can click Northbro and say, for Northbro, kind of what are the services that are available kind of right here, which is really handy. Yeah. And we, and yep. Baypath has its own website, baypath.org, if, if I didn't say that before, which gives you a full array of our services and contact. Thank you very much. Okay. And we're going to go back and talk, and talk, and once again, we're going to take questions from either of these folks um, in about five minutes. I'm going to give you a very brief uh, um, piece, though, about why Frank and Mary, right now, if they don't have dementia and they're, they've just worried about it in the future, don't have to go give away all their assets and wait five years. So, uh, remember Frank and Mary, right? And there are their assets. So now, suppose Mary isn't feeling so great and needs nursing home care. How many of you think, show of hands, that they're going to need to sp really spend down quite a few of their dollars before Mary could qualify for Mass Health or Medicaid in order to have that covered? How many think they're going to have to spend a lot of money? Uh, and, well, you're all wrong, right? Um, and the reason is fairly straightforward. Um, if, if Frank and, and if Mary, I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to go back to these numbers. If Mary needs nursing home care today, and needs to qualify for Mass Health because, as we mentioned, Medica or Medicare will not pay for extended nursing home stays. They'll only pay for the first 100 days in a nursing home, and only if you're getting better, if you're there to get better, if you had three days in a hospital and then go to a nursing home to get better. After that, you're on your own unless you qualify for Mass Health, which is the Massachusetts name for the Medicaid program. But you can qualify. If you're Mary, as long as you have less than $2,000 in countable assets. Well, of course, they have a lot more than that. But the key is that if you have a spouse at home, Frank can own a house as long as it has, as long as it has an equity of less than $800,000. He, he can even own a Northboro house. He can own a big house. You know? So he can own a big house. Uh, he can have cash or cash equivalent assets. And all of these others are, are cash or things that can be turned into cash of up to $117,560. Don't ask me where that number comes from. It comes from the sky. 